Libra, and welcome to your Coffee Cup reading for the week of October 25th. And this is a very general and quick reading. There can be plans going on for some of you. Because <clears throat> I see seasons here. Okay. There is a lot of fun coming up. For some of you, this could be you spent more time. You kind of put some time away to spend with friends, with also um, children is what I'm seeing here. It's a playful time, okay? Some of you just want to play. But for others, I do feel that there is an energy here of um, creativity, playing around with something that you really like to do. For others, it's you're switching things around. So this way you're going to get better results. And I do see patience is on your side. You're staying more sane, um, happiness. And I do feel here also, um, well, patience is required. Upcoming spring, which is March 22nd and on, is a powerful new beginning. This could be even making some plans for... I don't know, spring vacation, fun, or something like that. Remember, it's a general reading, so we're seeing a lot of that energy. Now, I saw similar energy. I think it's cancer, so maybe you have a connection with cancer, but you are, it's like you've learned some very valuable lessons. Now, you could have been connected to a cancer or not, or I don't know. It's just I've seen the same energy with them. You've learned some very valuable lessons, and you definitely um, being true finally to yourself out of denial or whatever it is. And you are really taking your power back. Also, your words are powerful. So you could be a little bit, um, like that's what I mean. <laughs> Cancer are the same thing. Your words are sticking. So whatever you say, you can have regret. So be careful what you do say. Cause I do see you could be just lashing that out. But, you know, you're speaking your truth is what I'm feeling here. And you've got some valuable lessons and you're kind of vigilant. All right. So you're you've got that power. You're taking your power back. You're not letting something come through again. Your challenge is it's either been a separation, divorce, um, sadness from the past, or you've been in a relationship and you were kind of sick of that um, person's ex or it, the relationship was just too complicated, too much interferences. Now, there could be some plans you're making, but there can um, be a little bit of delays, okay? Um, I do feel also summer, hmm, something may be delayed till several months from now, which would be summer that starts um, June 21st and on, okay? You have happiness, Okay, it's like some of you also are kind of reminiscing. Um, it's in your not reminiscing. This is your base energy, and I feel there is happiness, a wish fulfillment, and victory. And this is because you've either separated from someone or something, or you put some sadness from the past away. You have blessings, whatever kind of you dealt with, some kind of losses or breakups or whatever it is. It's blessings. They're coming through and a victory. There is new love coming in. Something new if you allow it. This could be also invitations, happiness, um, people wanting to help you. Um, this is new beginnings, new uh, starting to date. This is a date for some of you, and it's a something new. I do feel, or you're just going to like some kind of um, gathering. It's it looks good. Okay, I like that. You're allowing, if you're um, allowing new things, um, new possibilities in. Okay, there is new love. There is um, new beginnings with love. You have to not stop being so hard on yourself. It's almost like you're kind of like, either the energy is like oh, banging your head, like oh, why didn't I see this earlier? The signs were there, or you're, you know, you want to move forward and you kind of feel bad at the same time. That's for some of you. Just allowing new beginnings. I do see balance is very important this week too. So keeping a balance is going to be important. 
I do see you're working on alleviating some of your worries and some of your fears. And I do see there's been some fears with, or worries with finances, but um, I do see money coming in. Okay, so I see that some of you are just putting a lot of your energy into work. Um, could be working overtime, and that sometimes kind of puts you in denial. You know what I mean? Not in denial, just to keep your mind off of things. Actually, it's not bad. Now, I do see for some of you, you're recognizing bad people around you, who you've been hanging out with, um, bad influences, also bad habits, uh, where you felt things were not, you know, you, you, you fought temptation. I do see that energy. And I do see you're going to be getting things under control here. People around you, you're very cautious. And I do see there could be some jealousy around as well. So I see you could be dealing with that. But you're closing up something. You're leaving some friendships or relationships behind. It's a slow merging process, but um, new doors are opening. So whatever was kind of gone will be replenished for something better. Okay? Um, I do see um, some decisions with the job. You may get a, a second job offer. You're thinking of maybe go, uh, merging into another job. So I do see that. Second source of income could be doing something on the side as well. Um, but proceed with caution when it comes to with finances and money as well. Um, so, you know, keep up that balance, um, you know, your, your financial responsibilities and then just putting money on the side is fine. Um, I do see you are definitely in focus. You are moving forward and you have, you have to make, you have some of your new ideas, new goals, new uh, intentions and make your intentions clear. It's like, and, um, mo keep moving forward. So I do see that too. Um, yeah. So another Libra could be coming, um, into focus here as well. So moving forward, just don't make any quick decisions, but know your intentions and move forward as well. So very interesting energies we're seeing here. Some numbers that may come into play this week for Libra is 3, 68, 78, and 46. Okay. All right, Libra, that was your reading for the week of October 25th. I hope you have a wonderful week, and I'll catch you back next week for your next reading. Bye for now.